Hi, everyone. I'm here with Nicole again, the gut girl. Thanks for being here, Nicole. Thank you for having me. We're going to talk about moringa powder. What is it? Okay. It's all over the internet right now. It's kind of like somebody just found it and it's so super popular, but um, not a lot of people are going into what it actually is. It comes from a tree and it came from the Egyptians, Greeks, Romans. They grew these trees way back in the day for actual health purposes because they are packed with calcium, iron, potassium, vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. So that's a pretty big punch of nutrients when you get them. And it is really, really helping clear bacteria and fungus infections. They used to actually put this on um, open wounds back in the day and it would clear it immediately. So, um, but it also, as you drink it daily, it gives you a really, really good source of energy. Um, most people are, that's the thing that the, you know, all the social media platforms are raving is that you're gonna have energy, but um, it also treats hypertension diabetes, and the big one is cancer. So it's it's got a lot more punch than just energy. Um, it helps with specifically breast cancer is a big heavy hitter that people are taking moringa powder for. So, and it lowers the glucose levels in the body, which is a lot of why it helps treat these things. Um, it helps with high blood pressure, and it also helps with a non-alcoholic fatty liver. So, and I got to tell you, in my practice right now, I am seeing a ton of people with a non-alcoholic fatty liver just from the standard American diet. Wow, that is amazing. I, I want to talk about that for a second, but then I want to go back to more how do you actually take this and the dose and how many times a day. But that shocks me. Well, it, it doesn't shock me, but you're seeing a lot of people they're getting their blood work and they're getting tested scans or whatever. And they have fatty liver. How young are some of these people? Young. I, I see people ever, anywhere from actually I see teens to anywhere from, you know, seventies, eighties. And I would say, and I'm not joking about this. I would say 60% of people come into my office with a non-alcoholic fatty liver. And that is just from the standard American diet. That's crazy numbers to me. That is to me too. It's like, it just, it, it, it's kind of discouraging for a lot of people. It's like, what am I supposed to eat? You know, we did one on which would you pick, you know, and every single one of those things on the food list is going to cause fatty liver. Yes. Um, but it's like, what are you supposed to eat? You know, it's like you even got to be cautious of the stuff that says organic. Well, and, you know, I think what is driving me nuts is I just had a conversation with a client the other day about this is that we have completely went into convenience rather <clears throat> than health these days. So so some, all of our vegetables, all of our everything is chopped up for us. We're buying it in a bag. What do you think that bag of onions or lettuce or anything that you're getting all chopped up for convenience, what do you think that that has on it to preserve it? You've now taken the integrity away from an on onion and the health of it, and you've put something on it just so it can sit on the shelf longer. That's a big deal, and it's hitting your livers. It's not good for us. And it takes us 10 seconds to chop an onion. I mean, it's it, we've kind of gotten out of hand with it. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, we know we, you, I mean, well, both you and I think it's the seed oils, the vegetable oils, it is the main culprit, but it's in everything. The linoleic acid, you know, yep. it's crazy. Um, so, oh, man, it's just, yeah. You know, just in cheese now, Steve, they have sawmill in and shredded cheese just to keep it on the shelves. That's gross. Like, and that's, how do you think that's filtering through our liver? It's crazy. Yeah. For my wife and I, almost all the food we buy is special ordered or at, you know, high quality, special type grocery stores that uh, we can trust as much as we can trust. But 
You're right. It's, it's just easy just to grab something. And that's why, I mean, it's almost like you're hearing all these things about fasting's bad, fasting's good, but you know what? Not eating is sounding better and better for your health. <laughs> I agree. It's getting super confusing out there. And I can completely sympathize with people who come into my office and they have not the first clue of what to eat or, or how to eat that because they are shuffling their kids off to baseball and cheerleading and everything else. And the convenience is nice. For sure. Fast. You know, people don't eat at fast food. I mean, it, it tastes good, you know, for most people, you know, not for me, but for most people, it's like, you, you know, but they're, that's not why they're eating. They're eating it because fast. I saw some right. ridiculous statistic that how many people are eating their meals in their car. Yes, it's crazy. It was some crazy amount, 30% or something of all meals are eaten in the car. Really? And probably in a plastic container. So, you know, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the uh, Moraga powder, give us some dosage ideas and how much, when, and all that. So normally you're going to get a scooper with the Moringa powder always. I haven't ever bought one, a good quality one that doesn't come with an already pre-dosed um, amount. I normally have a couple a couple, um, I have a scoop in the morning and a scoop in the afternoon because it really does help with hormone health as well. So uh, me being a 48 year old woman, I want all the hormone help I can get. So I love it. And it does give me a little energy. I'm up very early in the morning, so it does help. All right. Well, that sounds like some good stuff, everybody. So, um, Nicole, if they want to find out more about you and, you, you do a lot of things. You, you recommend supplements and you monitor people's diets and so on and everything. You do personal training. You do everything. So if they want to reach out to you, uh, we know that you'll give them $100 off your program if they mention that they saw this video. Um, so how do they get a hold of you? You can reach me at the email, thegutgirl1 at gmail.com. I'm also right in the process of getting my website up and ro rolling. So that's going to be another place. But you can always get me on social media too at the Gut Girl NV. Normally Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, all of that you can find me on. And I'll give you $100 off. Just mention you saw me here. All right. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thank you for having me.